Welcome to this new uh, Fracture Data 1.5 demo. Uh, so you have, a, we'll see what's new here. Uh, so first, you have to install the add-on uh, in the add-on section, the preferences. So let's, it's already done here, but I will show you. Uh, so this is this one. You have just to install and, and point to, to the add-on uh, file. Uh, this is 1.5 and here uh, you have to enable this this add-on which is uh, inside Blender by default but is, it's not enabled so you have to do it. So the add-on can be found in the fracture section here and uh, there's two new buttons here to, to set up the scene quickly. So now I have nothing play and if I say this, select this ones and uh, I say passive rigid bodies and this one has a active rigid bodies and now it will play simulation physics simulation okay so i want uh, to the stone to to broke uh, to break at this time for example so let's do that i will break it in 40 parts uh, as you can see there's only one material so the add-on will generate uh, an inside material for the breaks let's see that Okay, that's done, and as you can see, so the new material created here. Uh, so let's see, this is a default material I've done. Uh, it's very pretty simple, and uh, it's just to have something to see. It is much better to work like this. Uh, if it's okay for you, you can keep it, uh, but you can replace it by something else if you want, of course. Okay, you can adjust this, this value, and, uh, and that's much better. Okay, uh, so one other uh, new functionality is that you can select uh, these parts, there are six parts selected here, and we can uh, just uh, refracture this, uh, for example, in uh, six parts, and uh, just have to select every, every, every of these ones and uh, save one eye break. Okay, it's pretty early to, to fall. Yeah, it's much better. And of course, this is a fracture iterator, so every object can be refractured. Like this one, for example, it will fall and then break on the floor. Okay, and you can, for example, uh, fracture this one too. Uh, so this time break okay and I want uh, the lower part of the column to to keep uh, to keep here so I will just push this off and if I want uh, this part to to be smaller so we'll just let, let's work in uh, without the materials is pretty is faster. So, for example, in seven parts, uh, let's break this. That's much better. So that's a cool uh, new functionality uh, to to be able to to break uh, several parts in uh, in one shot. Uh, and now you can uh, you have these rough cuts. You can add rough cuts on uh, on. Uh, selection so let's select this ones and this ones for example I don't want this one don't want this one don't want this one okay and uh, I just have to add selected add two selected and that's done and look at that we have now uh, no flat face anymore uh, you can see the wireframe here so you can update this by uh, changing the settings of, of the selection and uh, make an update so as you can see it's a date and uh, you can uh, for example change the scale value and uh, see what happens and uh, how, how it works uh, there's several problem here so let's see why for example we'll point 18 and uh, yeah that's much better but if you if you are if you have a, a one object that's problematic like that uh, which uh, 
which uh, don't like uh, this uh, this rough cuts you can just remove this one it, it will not have rough cuts and uh, the problem is solved uh, for this one which is a uh, 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 go through the, the other object you can lower this value like that update and it's better okay uh, let's side the wireframes so now if you want to select all the objects with the same settings to to change it you can just select this uh, one of it and select the same it will be select it will be it will, it will select sorry uh, all the objects that are exactly the same settings so you can now lower this one update to solve all the problems in at once yeah it's pretty cool so no more flat face that's so much better and uh, sim simple and uh, very fast so that's okay for this part so let's see for the fun how to to break this uh, wood part in uh, several pieces um, i'll make a, a wood break so the wood break for the wood break i need a lot of uh, of uh, objects so let's say 40 and four, 400 sorry and uh, I will stretch the, the, the brakes. So for this, I will stretch in, in the Y axis. So I will put a value like that. And uh, here, if I don't put a secondary uh, material for the brakes, so it will uh, use the same that, uh, as the other one. So I will do my own by using the same and copy it. So I will customize it uh, later. Uh, so let's break this okay so what I want here I want these parts to be to keep together okay so we just use joint fragments and for this one too yeah like that and fragments now let's see what happens so all the, the individual parts uh, in the middle will be separated yeah that's cool uh, let's adjust the, the inside uh, material now so I just select this uh, this is a procedural material so I can just uh, change it to generated now Okay, and I will stretch uh, this value. So, for example, 0.1 and this one to 20. I don't know. Yeah, that's better. I want it to be uh, lighter. So, let's hide more lighter inside. You know, this is much like always much lighter inside the, the broken parts because this is brand new and the outside is uh, dirt it's the dirty sorry and uh, this one can be much darker like that so now you can see the differences okay so that's it i think we see everything uh, maybe not maybe i can show you some tricks uh, here you can pick the settings uh, if you have some different settings here you can re re find the, the setting of this of this object by picking it like this just select an object and use a pick and uh, it will show the, the updates the, the, the actual uh, uh, settings of, of the object uh, you can select the same so the object with the same settings uh, will be selected and if you have imagine you have this uh, this one have no nothing and something uh, different settings for example i don't know uh, at selected so these ones have uh, their own uh, settings so you can see you can find it back and if you want to 
to to have a, or all to have the same settings as you can select this one for example if you want all to have the same setting than this one so if I, you say pick settings so you have these settings you want to keep select the other one you want to change uh, so select one and uh, use the select same these settings are uh, this one so this uh, no change and I will apply it to, to it like uh, this and now if I select this all the objects can be selected it's pretty tricky but uh, it can be very useful to, to know I will show you something else to another trick to replace uh, for example uh, let's do something stupid like uh, put uh, wood inside the thing on the the wood material uh, instead of the the concrete material brick uh, so for this you have to enable one uh, great uh, material uh, add-on which is in blender so it's in not well known but just in about this one is very very useful material it is this is by default in blender for from a long time now and uh, this one will uh, add some many uh, options for example if i want to put my my wood material uh, uh, inside uh, here so i will just have to go here and uh, replace material I will select the one I want to replace so uh, the break mat uh, I will do it on all object but I can do only on selection uh, this for only on selection or this for all object in the scene and I will replace by, uh, by this one and if I use this it works like that so it's pretty pretty cool to, to to, to repass all this uh, so so easily so that's it thanks for watching bye